Hey there, it's Josh. Welcome back to Let's Game It Out. We're checking out Hometopia today, which combines two of my favorite things. People hiring me to do a task, and me ignoring everything that they wanted, and yet somehow still accomplishing things. And here we are in the wild world of Hometopia. We've got all the greats. Midtown Heights, Courtyard Mobile, whatever that says, these things, and all these people in the back that are so insignificant to us, the game has blurred them out. For now, the game wants us to start small. So let's see which one of these three jobs we should take. Well, we've got this one. Small renovation job. One room to renovate with a nice base pay of $1,147. Or we could do this one. Two rooms to renovate. $1,900. Or we could do this one. Two rooms and $2,100. Hey, wait, what just happened? Oh god, it's been replaced. If we don't act fast, these jobs literally disappear in front of our very eyes. Okay, fine, we'll just take this one. Angie, buckle up, we're coming in to renovate. Thank you for being prompt. I need your design expertise. Wow, you're gonna wish you hadn't said that. I tried it myself, but didn't get very far. I will not be happy with subpar furnishings. Don't worry, I got this. I wasn't listening anyway. So here we are in this neighborhood, that's name I already forgot. You can tell which house we're supposed to be working on, on account of the fancy white border. I mean, that and some of these other houses look entirely neglected anyway. Like, look at this one over here. Does somebody actually live here? You don't even get a sidewalk, huh? Wait, can we do that to Angie's place? I mean, I know we're here to fix up a small living room, but we're also gonna help Angie fit in. And by that, I mean we're gonna help her house blend in a little bit. Nice brick pathway. How about we sell you? Oh, wow, that totally works. I like it. See, look at that. We're already helping out. Okay, looking much better. Something I really enjoy about this game, by the way, is you have two perspectives to deal with. You can do walking around mode, where you can roam around the property in first person, or you can go into fly mode. Ta-da! Just like that, where you can do all your fun renovations from, like, a god view. See, look how great that was already. For now, though, let's go ahead and check out the house, see what we're dealing with. Oh, I see. Wow, this sure looks like it went off the rails fast. This was you trying ahead of time? Are you sure you didn't just go into like a drug-induced stupor? Otherwise, how do you explain the pizza boxes and the historical maps? And what? Hardcover books? I'm sorry, did all this renovation interrupt your tomb rating? And how have you been living with this disaster right next to like a normal house? Like that crappy living room was right off from this brand new beautiful kitchen? I mean, comparatively, this kitchen's kind of hideous. Let's make a couple of changes first of all. Let's take this window and put it right Right there. Good, great. And also, let's take those dishes, as much as I like them sitting on one of the burners, and let's take those where they belong, outside for someone else to deal with. Yep, that's the spirit. And for this fridge, we're just gonna take it and put it in the corner like so. There we go, facing the corner. It's in a timeout right now. In fact, what's to stop me from just grabbing all of this stuff and just moving it outside the house? Even this rug that we can't see from the outside. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and place this right in front of the door here. There we go, home sweet home. And I don't like that the front door opens right into this cracked end. So let's go ahead and just take that door and let's move it to somewhere that feels a little more exciting. There we go. See, good thing we moved that fridge because now the front door is here. Anyway, back to this room, I guess. As you can see, it tells us all the things we need to do. Everything from floor and wall coverings, etc, etc. So first, we're gonna start by cleaning up all the crap. Hope you had copies of all these ancient documents because they're going away. Wait, how am I supposed to deal with graffiti? Oh, well, there you go. Can I do the same thing with this? Wow, I fixed all that with a dustpan? I didn't realize we were gonna be sorcerers. Well, whatever, the room is clean now. Next step, let's work on flooring. Wow, look at all the different things we can install. Like, yeah, we've got all the stuff you'd expect, like flooring and walls and doors and windows and stuff. But then we have a separate category for just fireplaces, railings, structures, like pillars and balconies. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's not unlocked yet. I guess for right now, we're gonna have to stick with just the stuff we're supposed to do. So if I recall, she hates wood, so we're gonna use wood. Not just wood, by the way. Beautiful laminate wood flooring. At least some of it. We want to make sure there's some variety in here, which is why we're going to mix it up to this vintage worn hardwood. Okay. Looking good. And not at all like the picture. And we'll finish it off with a little bit of this. Okay, there we go. It's looking great. Let's move on to wall coverings. Oh, but look at this. We have interior walls, exterior walls, and then a nice primer, which we're definitely not going to do. Let's see. What do we think will look the worst? Siding, brick, or stucco? I think this living room demands a nice siding. Okay, so we'll just gussy up the space so it looks like the outside of a shed. And while we have the tool out, why don't we just go ahead and add a couple here too? There we go, it's great. Really ties the two rooms together. Wait, can I take this window and just put it right here? 
Oh, that's good too, actually. You always want to be able to see what's happening in the kitchen, right? Okay, time for seating. Seating of one, apparently. What do we think? Does a toilet count? I mean, with the lid down, it's kind of a seat, right? And in fact, let's go ahead and place that right there. So you can take a crap while staring into the kitchen. And the answer is no, the game does not count that as seating. Okay, fine, we'll look at actual seating. Do we want to go with this wooden stool or whatever this thing is? And why is the picture for this one on its side? Whatever, we're going to go with the wooden stool. Let's see, can I just place it like right on top of the toilet? Oh yeah, there we go. Truly, it is art for the modern age. And as for lighting, can I just go into like another room and take their stuff and install it here? Fiddlesticks, this game is too smart for me. Okay, well in that case, let's find something that goes with the room. Ah, classic porch light, also on its side. I think we have a winner. I don't know, I kind of like how this is turning out. Oh, you know what's actually going to really help with the charm? Customizing some of this stuff. I'm not really sure what I'm looking at here. Are you trying to tell me that these are all the designs I have at my disposal for customizing? So wait, if I take like this colorful diamond towel fabric, can I just apply Apply it to the toilet. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, you can. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it magically works on everything. Like, yeah, you can try to customize this lamp, but try as I may, it doesn't get that much more exciting. Other stuff, though, definitely does. I don't know about you, but I love my window frames, so look like I wrapped them like a present. Anyway, back to living room furniture. I was afraid to choose something like this vintage-wide sideboard, because look how stupid and normal this looks. But since we can paint it, like using this cute picture of this cat, and now we can make it look appropriately hideous. I like that we can't even see the cat anymore. Oh, wait, I was wrong. There's one in one third of its eyes crying out for help. Sorry, cat, your soul is part of the dresser now. Oh my god, you want to know what else I learned? Some items will stack on other items. Oh, happy day. Up to and including the toilet. Well, I think I know where all this stuff is going. As long as we check off all the boxes, I'm sure it's going to be fine. Okay, there we go. Just the way we all like to watch TV. Oh my god, we're almost done. I can almost taste all the money I've clearly earned. I guess this is all the decor we can choose from, and we do have a lot of options, but I think my eyes are drawn to these window treatments. Like, normally you would take window treatments and put them, like, right here, right? Like, in front of a window. Can I just put them anywhere as actual decor? Oh, good. Yes, use it to frame the toilet. And we'll put another one right here. And let's also put one here to commemorate where there used to be a door. Hey, you know, speaking of, what is even in this room? Hello? Hello? Oh, a bedroom. So I guess this is what, the bathroom? Ugh, it's so nice in here. Actually, hang on, I'm gonna borrow this. This would be great decor in the living room. Well, it didn't count, but I'm leaving it anyway. But just to make it extra creepy, our fourth piece of decor is gonna be some child's toy. But like a smart child that sits around and loves to play with their abacus. Ta-da, we did did it. Hang on, before we go, I want to do one last thing, which is move this door right here so that while you sleep, you have a clear view of the neighbors and you can no longer access the bathroom. Job completed. <laughs> Angie writes, one star, I'm moving out. Good, thanks for the $500. And we gained a little experience for our troubles. Oh, and in case you're wondering why we only made $588, it turns out Angie had some deductions. She disliked 21 items, didn't like the mismatched floor, or the non-kids rooms with kid items in them, and most bafflingly, didn't like the toilet outside the bathroom. So picky. Well, that was a complete success. And right now, we've only got little renovation projects like that. Thankfully, as you can see they're not that hard to do. And we're gonna have to do a couple of more so that we can level up from rank two. And there we go, outdoor construction jobs available. God help us all. Oh boy, are you as excited as I am for this small outdoor construction job? Okay, so Jane Nixon here wants a backyard bar. Seems easy enough, especially because there's no fence back here. So I kind of feel like this can be the backyard or this can be the backyard or maybe even this can be the backyard. So here's how this would normally work. First, we need to build a new room and assign it. And when they say build a new room, what they mean is one of these foundations. And so what the game wants us to do is plop down some foundations and then go up here to the room planner. And then we look over the thing we just made, which currently is set to unassigned. And we could do something like assign a backyard bar. And just like that, that's what it's designated to be. So I don't know about you, but I immediately had a thought, which is at this point, what's stopping us from just doing stuff inside the house? And that's when I saw that everything is locked, which means the game doesn't want to let us switch to unassigned and try to unassign this kitchen. I mean, with good reason too. We're supposed to be building a backyard bar or whatever. But that's when I figured out something else. If we were to take our little square of backyard bar here and then decide that we want to build some walls for it, if we build a wall straight across like this, it reassigns stuff. Look at that. Now it says it's too small and only 65 square feet. And then we have a second backyard bar, also too small. And it even shows me two backyard bars in the tasks here. So then I started to wonder, would that work on a locked space too? Well, let's find out. First things first, let's move some of this stuff out of the way because we're going to draw a wall right 
right between these two sections. It'll make sense in a second. Okay, so let's just take a wall, draw it right across like this. Oh my, looks like the locked kitchen got even smaller. But now there's a second kitchen. Can I switch this to unassigned? Oh, good. So wait a minute. Does that mean I can make the locked kitchen completely disappear? Like if I just draw through it again? Okay, it halved the kitchen again. And then once again, we can unassign one side. Well, what about if I just use separate little things to make all little quadrants? Ah, I see. Three of them become customizable kitchens. And then we have one tile that is our locked kitchen. So we'll just unassign these. Get rid of all these walls. And now this room that previously was the kitchen is technically only the kitchen on that one tile, which I think means we can establish all the rest of this as the backyard bar. <laughs> yep, we sure can. Well, hey, at this point, why stop at a medium backyard bar? Now that we have all this available real estate to work with. Okay, so hang on. Let's go over here. Move all of this crap out of the way. Do that thing where we chop up the room into as many little small pieces as we can, where the game now thinks there's countless small bedrooms, which gives us all kinds of fun information, actually. Room is too small. Client did not request this. And it wants us to add all of that stuff in every single room. Good thing we don't actually have to do all that, right? Once we un assign everything, all of our problems just go away. And shockingly, that one little square, that's still the bedroom. The game doesn't even ask for all that stuff anymore. It's like, nah, you just need to paint the walls, put a light in and some decor. But I notice that once you start deleting walls, even that goes away. The game is happy now. Well, time to do that with the rest of the house. Just grab everything that's going to be in the way for my wall paradise. And then it's time to add walls <laughs> everywhere. Okay, that's one direction down. Now to finish off the grid. And then go over this whole thing and unassign everything we can. Get all the walls back out of the way. I also tried to put the furniture back where it was, but I mean, that's probably good enough, right? I don't really remember where it was. I'm sure this is about right, though. Especially that right there. The perfect accessory for anybody crying themselves to sleep. Anyway, all the lock spaces have been, shall we say, optimized. Technically, that's the whole bathroom. That's the living room. <laughs> that's the hallway. And there's our kitchen, bedroom, and bathroom, which leaves all the rest of this to become backyard bar. Oh dear, that's not what I meant to have happen. I didn't mean to make seven backyard bars. Oh yeah, somehow I already forgot what the walls are gonna do, which is to separate it out by separate little rooms. So let me unassign all that. And I think there's really only truly one solution to this. We've just gotta demolish all these walls. Here goes nothing. Oh yeah, it's perfect. What do we think? Do we think this will be good enough? Sure has that backyard bar feel, doesn't it? Okay, and now we can assign this whole thing as one big bar. And look at all the money we can save on this. We don't even need to put down our own foundations. I did notice we have an added task for exteriors, which looks like it's happy with our roof coverings and the surfaces on our zero out of zero exterior walls. But it wants five windows. I mean, fair enough, I get it. To make that happen, I'm gonna install one piece of wall right here. Slap some plaster on it and hopefully be able to shove five windows in this one space. Yes, there we go. We've done it. And now to focus on the backyard bar. We don't even have to put floor coverings. The house itself already did that for us. The rest is just painting this one wall, slapping down some kind of entertainment, like this crappy little radio, you know, to really get this party started. Oh crap, that didn't count. I forgot that's not technically in the backyard bar. It's in the kitchen. Well, I can solve that right now. Ta-da! Okay, cool. That did it. And we know the drill. Just put crap everywhere to fulfill the requirements. And that's how you make a backyard bar. Where the entire roof is held up by just this one wall and sort of this pile of furniture. Thanks for your business. Oh yeah, there you go. Jane Nixon writes, I need to find a remote job because I don't ever want to leave this house. Oh good, a new neighborhood unlocked. Now we can do stuff at Plaza Lakes and also a new job type. Home expansion jobs available. Well, what are we waiting for? We're no longer limited to just these renovation jobs or even these small outdoor construction jobs. It's time to land the big thing of the large home expansion job. And look at all those skills we'll have to use. Planning, building, interior designing. Well, this seems easy enough. They want us to fully construct an office, a dining room, a living room, and a baby's bedroom. I'm sorry, what is in your house now? Did you have none of these things? Let's take a quick tour first, see what we're working with. Oh, okay, I see what's going on here. They have a small living room, when what they want is a living living room. Makes sense to me. Okay, so I guess for this one, we might actually do some real building. Same situation as before. The game has locked all the existing rooms. Not like that's gonna stop us, especially when we have all this extra yard space to work with. But you know, first things first, we gotta do something 
something about the outside decor of this house. Talk about hideous. Like, what do you think all the neighbors are saying when they see this monstrosity? So first things first, let's convert all these walls into glass walls. Oh yeah. This is already starting to look better in that creepy jail cell kind of way. And we can't stop there. We should probably do all sides of the house. I don't care how much of our income it takes up. The heart wants what it wants. Oh, I kind of hate to say it, but this doesn't look the worst. I mean, creepy, sure, but not the worst. Unless you're these neighbors, I guess. Maybe that's why all their blinds are closed. So they don't have to look over at the creepy house where you can watch them while they're watching you while they're taking a crap. We are going to get rid of all these walls inside the house, though. It's kind of our signature move. Oh, yeah, that's much better. It's like a stage play in here now. You just have to pretend you can see the walls. Well, okay, we should probably still have something making the bathroom a little more private. Otherwise, that's just awkward. We do need a door for it, though. And you know what would work better than a garage door? Oh, yeah, here we go. Wait, is this the kind that goes out or up? Oh, I see. How convenient. I like how aggressively glossy it is, too. And then I guess you need to wedge yourself directly into the corner so you don't hurt yourself closing it. Wait, so is it gonna smack me in the face when I open it? It can open both directions. This is better than a real garage door. And what a unique ambiance this provides to our view of the crapper. Anyway, moving on from this. Right now, the client's house is a beautiful two-story thing. And while it's clearly already the most exciting house on the block, I think we can do better. But that depends if the game's gonna let us build a third story. Oh yeah, it looks like it can, right? Wait, can I just start my third floor without even removing the roof? That would certainly save money on labor, wouldn't it? Let's see, it won't let me place one right here. But I don't care, can I just place it right here? Okay. Okay, good, whatever, fine. What a magnificent house this is. And we'll kind of slim it up to just be this size. Unfortunately, over here in the room planner, it doesn't look like it's gonna let me assign rooms to this space. What if I start pulling up like individual pieces? Will this do the trick? Oh yeah, there we go. Well, that's just swell. I think we found the baby's bedroom. Seems like the perfect spot for it. What? Room is too small. Okay, so be it. We'll open it up a little bit. And by that, I mean, we're gonna trace out all the space we're gonna empty out. And we're gonna turn this floor into, you guessed it, a maze. Oh, whoops. Looks like I deleted too many things. And not just this hole in the ceiling, but also this thing right here on the side, which is fine. We can use this. And by that, I mean glorious, glorious stairs. Okay, let's see. How does this work? Where does it consider to be okay to put stairs? Now, I know if it's indoors like this, it'll work, but I don't want to put it indoors. I want to put it out here like this. So first we'll delete some of these things. Okay, and let's see. Will this do the trick? Excellent. The changes that someone else paid us to make are slowly being realized. And it doesn't look like I can stack stairs on top of more stairs. Wait, I have an idea. What if we use ceiling tiles and we just put them underneath the stairs? Good, great. And then we add some walls just like this. Not even all the walls, by the way, just enough to add these two little pieces. Actually, wait, can I delete this now? Oh, good, perfect. That's what we like to see. Cheating the system. My God, can I just draw this stuff anywhere? You sure can. New idea. We're gonna put some construction all the way over here because I just really want to show off for the neighbors our complete lack of respect for physics. I can't draw these to the neighbors, can I? Okay, no. We can build right up to the edge of our property and no farther. We'll just go ahead and keep perfecting our system here. And it does allow us to exercise our creative brain to create something for the client that'll surprise and delight. I'm actually also super curious here. How many floors up can we actually go? Well, I guess we're about to find out. Pretty decently high as it turns out. At around 10 floors up, it stops letting me build. But overall, I I think I'm okay with this. The main thing that matters to me is that we can go all the way up here and look down on all this inferior housing. Also, I didn't do this. The game just understands my wants, apparently. Anyway, goes without saying, but this is definitely where one of our rooms are gonna be. And I think we all know which one, right? That's right. New location for the baby bedroom. Okay, so first, let's get some carpet going. Something nice and corporate's probably gonna be nice. Next, let's place some kids' furniture like this rocking chair, which, of course, we're gonna put precariously right here on the edge. Oh, and good news this stuff can stack on each other, so it can really go over the edge. Wait, wait, this is making me ask more questions. Does that mean I can just keep stacking stuff on top of this? Like, even higher than this? So at first I thought the answer was no, but then I realized a couple of things. For one, it's probably because we're right up against that property line, which had me wondering, if I pull this thing back, and maybe not use these things because it looks like I can't stack them anyway, and instead we're gonna try stacking with this kid's table because it's a little cheaper, and you can place it a little bit farther out. Can I just keep doing this over and over and over again? 
again. Can I then take this thing and then just move it all the way to the edge? Oh, good. We found a way to make it go past the boundaries. Okay, if we're gonna keep building outwards, we're gonna need a little extra space. So we're gonna sit here in the very corner of the map and start building up from here. So hold, please. Okay, I think this is about as far as the game's gonna let me take it. Which I, for one, am proud of the art we've made. Okay, you, come with me. And let's see if we can take this thing all the way up the house and over to this platform. Oh my god, I think it's gonna let me. Well, the answer is yes. Yes, it will. I can almost not even see how high it goes. Like, the view almost won't let us see it. But it's definitely a worthy addition to our baby's bedroom. Oh, actually, hang on a second. There's one more addition I want to make. I gotta bring it all the way back down here just so I can edit stuff on the top. And up here at the top is where we're gonna put the baby crib. Yes, good, perfect, and secure. There we go, the ultimate baby's bedroom. And if you need to take care of the baby... Oh, wait, you can't. I myself am not allowed to go past that little boundary. Yes, that's right. We're stuck on this line here, but baby gets to go anywhere they want. And we need to handle lighting, and I've got some ideas for that. Here we go. Some nice standing candles. Yes, what could possibly go wrong with this? Actually, you know what? This has me thinking. And by thinking, I mean I've come up with another idea on how to utilize something as glorious as this. So I was thinking about our neighbors over here with their big, beautiful, nice house, and I thought there's no reason they need to close all those windows. It's not like we're intimidating or anything. I think they just need a chance to get to know us. So in order to do that, let's demonstrate for them some of our skills. First, let's go back over here to the very corner of our house. Temporarily, we're going to build a couple of foundations out here, only so that we can build on this. And I was taking a look at some of the random decor options that we have, and I discovered an item in particular that really caught my eye. The checkerboard. First off, look at the size of this thing. I'm just happy it's large and flat. For comparison, by the way, here's a whole weight bench. I almost feel like this checkerboard is here, so Solely for mischief. Anyway, so we're gonna take another board, find the very edge and place it there, and then place another, and another. I'm sure you can see where this is going. And now that we've extended to the very edge, let's go ahead and keep expanding. Okay, and at the end of this, we're just gonna take this like that. Okay, moment of truth. We're gonna try something now. So we should be able to grab this checkerboard right here and click and drag the whole thing. And then we should be able to take it and drag it somewhere else. And let's see if we can't drag it into our house, like, I don't know, right about right there. And then this whole thing breaks through the wall walls all the way over to the neighbor's house and not just over to the neighbor's house but inside ah yes good the addition they've probably always wanted an extra toilet right above the entryway oh my goodness i didn't realize it was so barren in here well don't you worry we're a good neighbor we'll help you out okay i've prepared a couple of care packages for the neighbors just checkerboards all over the place and now it's time to deliver okay here comes one and putting down another and one last one right there all kinds of stuff that's designed to help them feel nice and appreciated. Now, obviously, just like before, we have the toilet. But now, we also have a nice little entertainment area for them to use. Complete with sofa, coffee tables, and a television. And then once you're done watching that, go ahead and hop over to those other chess boards, which will take you to your nice dining room table. Complete with a placemat, silverware, and fresh-baked lasagna. Mmm! There's even room for two. Oh, no, but what if it's past your bedtime and it's time to go beddy by? Oh, no problem. There's a bed in here, too. I even put custom sheets on it. And as you can see, the image translates perfectly and doesn't look like a total nightmare. Oh, wait, I almost forgot I have one last surprise for you. Hold, please, while I slide right into your house, DMs. Here, I made this just for you. Just to let you know if you need anything, I'm here for you. Even though I don't live here and this isn't my house, but the people that contracted me to work on this, I'm sure will really appreciate it. Isn't that right? Oh yeah, that's what I like to see. Five stars. Overall, this is lovely and I love what you did with the living room. You mean the neighbors? I also love what we did with it. Well, that was fun. I'm looking forward to seeing how this game develops as it makes its way through early access. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more of this. I hope you had fun. I know I did. And I'll see you next time.